Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create double line paper or double ruled paper in Microsoft Word. You can download this template on my website. Guys, show your support by subscribing my channel. Okay, now let us start. First, let us take a new document. Now, the next step is to set the paper size by going to the layout and selecting A4 size for the paper size. Then the second step would be to set the units of measure by going to the file options and then advanced tab and then you will need to scroll a little bit under the display section you could see show measurements in units of here you can select millimeters and then click on the ok button now the next step is to insert a text box by going to the insert text box draw text box and then draw a text box now we will need to set the size for the text box the i'll set the width and height exactly as the a4 size the height will be 297 mm and the width will be 210 mm now Keeping the text box still, uh, still selected, make a right click on the border and then click on format auto shape or picture. Then go to the text box and then set the internal margin to zero. You will need to set everything like left, right, top, bottom all to zero and click on the OK button. Now keeping the text box still selected. Uh, you will need to arrange this I mean align this to the page so you'll just select align and align to page and then go to align again align center and align middle now you will need to do one more thing and that is to remove the outline color so just click on the shape outline and click on no outline so all these options are available in the format tab now before proceeding to the next step let us have a closer look on the double line paper so, this double line paper is created using a table that is uh, one two and three three column by 40 row table i have inserted this table inside the text box okay and uh, you can you could see the measurements here so the first column width is 28 mm and uh, these margin lines are 1 mm and then this is 181 mm and here if you have a look it's 31 mm here uh, the top margin and uh, the very first line starts with the 8.5 mm and uh, every alternate lines are 5 mm and uh, here from the third line it is 8 mm every alternate so one line will be 5 mm other line will be 8 mm like that now let us insert the table first you will need to click inside the text box that you have created previously so just make one single click then go to insert then click on table and then click on insert table now for the columns enter 3 and for the number of rows enter 40 and then click on the ok button so this will insert a table like this now we will need to make some additional settings for the table so you will need to go to the layout tab i mean your cursor needs to be clicked inside the table and then go to the layout tab and then click on cell margins and then set the left and right cell margin to zero and then click on the ok button now there is one more thing that you need to do that is you will need to just select the table uh, select the entire table how do you do that you can either click on this sign or you can just go to the select and click on select table then go to the design tab and then borders and then click on outside border what this would actually do is this would just disable or remove the border color i mean the outer border color 
not the inside one, the outermost. The next step is to set the height and width of these rows and columns. Let us refer to the template. The first column width is 28 mm and the height is 31 mm and the margin lines are 1 mm. So let us see how we can do that here. So I'll click inside the first cell and then I'll go to the layout and then I'll set the height as 31 and the width as 28 and press the enter key. Now I'll click inside the second row and uh, I'll just type 1 mm and it doesn't seem to be accepting the measurement. This happens because of the font size. So font size also has an influence with the row and uh, row height and column width. So let us select this row. I'll go to this select select row. The entire row is selected. Let us go to the home tab. Uh, type one here. You will need to type one because there is no one point size here and then press the enter key and you could see that the line thickness is accepted this time. Now um, keeping the selection still selected I would like to apply the color so I'll just go to the design and then pen color more colors then I would choose this one this pinkish um, I don't know it's a kind of uh, pink I'll just click on OK and I would also change the line thickness slightly to be this much uh, a three quarter and then I would apply it to the top of my you know cursor position and also to the bottom of my cursor position now we would need to do the same thing for the second column so I'll click the cursor at the second column I'll just go to the layout select column and then go to the home tab type 1 for the font size and press the enter key then go to the layout and then for the width type 1 and press the enter key now keeping the columns still selected go to the design and apply it for the left and right so we have the same settings we don't have to select it again now we will need to change the column width for the last column that is the third column so i'll just click inside the third column go to the layout and for the width i would enter 181 mm okay so now uh, this looks like a normal uh, notebook but now we will need to set the variant uh, row heights so uh, I think this is one, two and three. I'll click inside the third row and here um, you will need to set 8.5 mm. So I'll just go to the layout height 8.5 press the enter key then click inside the next one and for the height I would type 5 mm and click inside the next row and type the height as 8 mm now you will need to continue this process so the alternate rows will be 5 and 8 mm so i'll just type 5 and click inside the next one 8 and 5 press the enter key and this is 8 press the enter key five and eight so in this way you can just continue the process now i guess we have reached the bottommost part of the table um, I also guess the last row's height is 15 mm so let us set the last row's height I just click here and set the height to 15 mm so this concludes the tutorial 
If this is your first visit to my channel, do not forget to subscribe my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share this with your friends. I will see you all with another awesome content in my next video. Until then, it's bye from hbninfotech.com.